Hola, mi amigos. All right, guys, it's been a minute, but um, got the Canon R5C. I did already break it. <laughs> it was a line of candle. Had the lighter about like this high because this was on the table next to the candle. And I jumped about that height right onto there. Cracked that top screen. I don't know if you guys can see that from there. That's a little heartbreaking. But anyways, this video is just going to be about how I rig this camera out. If you've been following me for a while, you know, the one of the first rigging videos I did was just super excess stuff on the Fuji X-T4 or whatever camera that was. And I was just doing too much. I was overcompensating for the fact that it's a mirrorless camera. Fast forward a few years now, I've worked a lot more gigs and I I now prefer smaller, nimble, compact, tight, productive rigs, I guess you could say. So, so yeah, I just want to show the few ways that I rigged this and then also go through like the situations on how I would use that setup. Let's start with the most simple one. Pretty much this whole setup is all small rig parts. I will put Amazon affiliate links in there to make it easier. Obviously there's a full cage. You could do a full cage if this is gonna be your dedicated video camera. The cool thing about this is it has multiple points on it. So, so far with the R5, all the, the kits that you had, the top would wiggle on the camera. You can see where it goes into the strap. Uh, it actually has this little rivet in there. So that goes into there. It also has this little stub part right here. You see that little part right there that actually locks into the bottom of the R5C. And then obviously you have the uh, screw in point there. And there's also a rad little uh, multi-tool in here, which I'm a sucker for. I'm going to start with just unscrewing that little bottom piece in there. Okay. So this cage is, I don't want to say it's tricky to put on, but you have to finesse it a little bit. Cause again, you have to slide this little strap piece in first, right into where the camera strap goes. And then it pretty much just sets in there. From there, you could put that little bottom screw back in and there you go so you see now the top won't move on you i'm drinking woodford reserve if you like whiskey if you like bourbon it's all i pretty much drink is bourbon um woodford reserve is a great whiskey that you can kind of find everywhere anyways the thing i like about this cage is i can easily do a full-on photo shoot with just this cage uh because it's insanely light like this is you can see that's like insanely light. So I will most likely just keep this on here a uh, majority of the time, unless I'm just doing strictly a photo shoot. And if you've seen my handheld, like how to shoot handheld stuff, you know that um, I love a top handle. There's so many different ways to put a top handle on here. I personally like NATO mounts just because you slide them in and out easily. You don't have to spin anything too much. I put this mini NATO rail. This is the mini one. It's low profile. That's important. The low profile one. You don't want the one that sticks out super far. And then I just have this little small rig handle. I actually have a bunch of different handles that I use from different brands and just depending how I feel I'll switch them in and out. This is a dope little hybrid setup. Now I will take it up a step. Obviously we know that battery life on the R5C is a little bit of an issue right now. So currently the simplest solution right now to get the Anton Bauer Titan base. So you get this little base plate and you screw that into the bottom and then from there this simply just clicks on and there you go. And how you connect that is just through a dummy battery. One issue about that right now is if you're trying to shoot 8K raw 60P, this dummy battery won't power it, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. But here is my third build out. And this build out is if I'm doing a solely dedicated video rig. So either I have a photo camera and a video camera, or I'm just hiring to shoot video. This would be my next rig. It involves this build that I figured out. I will break it down piece by piece now. So I'm gonna take it apart for y'all. I'll just take it apart a little bit because I'm lazy and I don't wanna unscrew stuff. First off, let's start with the base. This is all small rig pieces. Small rig has multiple different base plates and I've actually tried four different ones. I actually ordered like $300 worth of stuff just to build this out, just to see what the perfect build would be personally for me. So you see, these are just rod mounts, just put them in there. And then we have a quick release Arca Swiss mount. One thing I forgot to mention about the small rig cage is the bottom is actually uh, Arca Swiss. We have the base plate, Arca Swiss plate that I just screwed onto there. Hopefully y'all can see that on there. From there we have our battery plate. This is the V-mount battery plate. Again, I will have links in the description so you guys can find all this. Um, we'll get into the battery here in a second because the battery is very important, obviously. Attached to that, I have their swing bracket that's for the V-mount plate. Again, I will put the link because this thing, I haven't seen anyone talk about this and this was a little bit of a treasure find, even though it's like all over their website. So let me show you guys how this works. Obviously, there's these little rod attachments uh, and that actually fits in perfect. So that actually slides right into that base plate perfectly. I'll do that again so you guys can see. Just slides right in. And obviously you want to tighten it down. 
And then you see we have this little piece here. I will get into what this does here in a second. So I'll show you guys how dope this is. So you don't have to slide it in. You can legit just kind of clip her down in there. And then I'm gonna just close that quick release. Go, there's no way that hurt my finger. From there we have the FX Leon, Le FX Long. I don't know, I don't know if that's supposed to be one thing. This is their micro battery. Uh, it is 50 watts. It has DTAP connections on it. It has USB-C connections on it. And we'll go into all that here in a sec. So one thing that's always bugged me is people have similar build outs like this, but when they take the screen out, they just leave the screen out. I don't trust myself with that. I already know if I was to do something like that, I'm going to end up breaking that screen off because uh, I'm kind of rough when I'm filming and stuff. So yeah, let me show you guys my solution for that. So again, the swivel plate was very important. You would release this, battery drops down, door comes in and out, lock it back up, and now your screen is out that quick. That's pretty much the build out. So I have two cable options. The right angle to right angle I would use if you don't plan on using the cable clamp which comes with the small rig build. I most likely will be using it um, but you need the right angle to straight uh, for this for the cable clamp. So, so obviously a USB-C goes into the battery here and I just slide the cable right through there and our cables in there. So with this setup, you will get 8K raw and 60 frames per second. So yeah, that is my build out. And uh, yeah, I hope it helps some of you guys. Again, I will put all the parts lists and links uh, to Amazon so you guys can build it out if you want the same setup. Yeah, guys, that's my build. That's pretty much it. I gotta start actually packing it. Uh, 10.30 now, so yeah, peace.